So this is Vince Sorrell, Editor-in-Chief of CASE, and today it's a real honor to dedicate this month's CASE Author Spotlight Series to a prolific author and herself, but more importantly, a past president of the American Society of Echo and the current course director of the rapidly approaching Echo Florida, Dr. Linda Gillum from Morristown Medical Center in New Jersey. Hey, thanks for chatting me with, with me this morning, Linda. Yeah, looking forward to our conversation. Well, great. So, so before we get started, I'd like to remind viewers again that all they have to do is point their camera at any of the QR codes over my shoulder to be immediately directed to the Echo Florida website, uh, to see the fabulous course agenda, or to actually register for the meeting. Hopefully, before we're done, a couple of people will actually register. That'd be great. But I know Echo Florida is right around the corner, and it's going to be a virtual program this year. What can you tell us about the upcoming program? So I think uh, Echo Florida is always, but this year is no exception, a must attend program for everybody interested in cardiovascular ultrasound. That includes cardiologists, sonographers. And this year, because our program is in partnership with the Society for Cardiovascular Anesthesiology, I would say for cardiovascular anesthesiologists as well. We I think are going to really, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say that the, the program really uh, covers really a broad spectrum of topics in echocardiography uh, this year. I think the particular focus perhaps is on valvular heart disease, including structural heart interventions, strain, including an interactive workshop, how, how to do it, in other words, and POCUS, point of care ultrasound. Yeah, I know in years past, I, I, I've always felt like these workshops and sort of getting down into the nuts and bolts about the how-to is some of the feedback that I've heard from attendees that they really appreciated and enjoyed attending. Um, I know you take course feedback seriously and really address some of the things that people um, learn and enjoyed from previous meetings. What is going to be the same this year that was some of those highlights that people talked about in past? So I think we always look at what our attendees tell us they're interested in learning more about. And uh, the topics that I listed, and probably worth pointing out that when I mentioned valvular heart disease, this is uh, an area in which three-dimensional echocardiography is, is very important. So attendees will see uh, some pretty, uh, can't be hands-on in the literal sense, but it will be as hands-on as we can make it over the airwaves in terms of telling people exactly how to do things. And we've built into the program uh, extended time for Q&A, which we expect to be uh, in interactive so that people can and should feel comfortable asking specific questions. In some ways, you know, it's easier to ask questions virtually than it is to sort of put up your hand when you're there in the room uh, and, and pose, your, pose your question that way. Yeah, I think you're right. And, and, and again, reminding us that this is a virtual course, I assume there may be even some other advantages of being a virtual course? Yeah, I think we've learned this from, from COVID, the, um, uh, all this push to virtual uh, educational uh, uh, programming. First of all, and this is, uh, this is like a, a no-brainer, it's obviously easier to get there. I mean, you can watch uh, from, your, from your home, from your office, wherever you happen to be. The other thing is that you can watch when it's convenient for you to watch. So one of the important things to know about this year's Echo Florida is that we have made sure that all the content that was originally scheduled to occupy a three-day meeting is still going to be available. We've taken a subset of it to broadcast live with live Q&A, but all of the content that was originally planned is going to be available for on-demand uh, viewing up until February 13th. So you really have a lot of time. We hope that the weekend of the live broadcast works for most of the attendees, but we understand that people have other demands on their schedules. And even those who are attending partially on those days may want to go back, review, or may want to pick up topics that they didn't have a chance to, to, uh, to see and find those topics in the on-demand only section of the program. Well, that's wonderful. And I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to tell us about Echo Florida. And I want to ask our viewers that have seen this to go ahead and forward this case spotlight discussion to anyone they think um, might be interested. Did you want to leave us with any final thoughts, Linda? Uh, just that uh, I think it, it, it's a wonderful program. We have amazing faculty, including yours truly, Dr. Sorrell, who are uh, 
experts in the field, but also superb educators, very approachable. And we are making sure that attendees will get that, the faculty or approachable sense, even in this virtual uh, format. And the course content, I think, uh, is, uh, is just wonderful. We'll have something that's of interest to every single attendee. Well, I know I'm looking forward to it. I always enjoy learning from each of my peers that come to this meeting as well. And so finally, I'll remind uh, all of those that are watching this that every echo you read today has a teaching point and every teaching point could be the next published case report. So again, thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful day. Thanks, Linda. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to, to talk about Echo Florida. <laughs>